How's it going everyone? Mickey T here. Welcome back to the channel. And it's time for a review of the new Thundercat album, It Is What It Is. It Is What It Is is Thundercat's fourth studio album, which follows up his 2017 effort, Drunk. It Is What It Is is an album that I've been anticipating for a while now, considering how much I love some of the singles that were released from the album, such as Black Wells and Dragon Ball Durag, of course, and the tracklist itself had a pretty impressive lineup of features, including Childish Gambino, Ty Dolla Sign, Zach Fox, and even the bass god himself, Lil B, is on this album, so I was beyond excited. What I expected going into this album was something a bit more fleshed out than Drunk was, while also maintaining Thundercat's signature smooth vocal style, with some great funky tracks and some great bass playing, of course. Were those expectations met? Sure answer. Well, kinda, I suppose. To start with the positives of the album, Thundercat's style of music still remains as unique as it always was for today's standards. His signature sound is still there, that being his really smooth vocals on top of these nostalgic type production. The grooves are really good and they added quite a lot to each of the tracks. Thundercat's bass playing is still amazing and continues to be a massive selling point for his music. Tracks throughout the album are really solid and have some really cool qualities to them. The track I mentioned earlier, Dragon Ball Durag, is still my favourite track in the album. I love the feel-good vibe of the track, with its funny lyrics where Thundercat basically just wants to smash in his Durag, which is accompanied by some stellar bass playing and some great sax playing too. The sax was great on it. Interstellar Lover is kind of jazzy with some smooth bass with some drums and some great sax playing again. I Love Louis Cole is fast-paced drum and bass heaven. I love the drums in that track so much. They sound so crisp and they meshed well with Thundercat playing and vocals. Black Quells is a really funky cut that has a great last verse from Childish Gambino and a cool performance from Steve Lacey. The track is a pretty positive message about overcoming fear and not letting paranoia get the better of you. King of the Hill has a great bass solo and vocally again Thundercat killed it with his sweet vocals. Unrequited Love is atmospheric with the slow funk groove and great bass lines. Fair Chance is one of my favourite tracks in the album. It's a sick slow jam that has some great harmonies from Ty Dolla Sign who yet again has a great feature. I swear I've never heard a bad Ty Dolla Sign feature in my life and, and surprisingly enough I actually really enjoyed Lil B's contribution to the track while being accompanied by the slow, atmospheric, acoustic type instrumental. It is what it is is a beautiful ending to the album as it's really slow, it's atmospheric, it's dark in its lyrics as the track is essentially a tribute to Mac Miller. It was a really sweet end to the album and it actually really hits considering if you're a Mac Miller fan or not. Some tracks in the album give me vibes from other artists like Miguel's Happy Dance which has a really cool bass line me a lot of Flower Boy era Tyler the Creator and there's another instance where I saw a Tyler influence on on the track. How I Feel has this pretty cool xylophone if I'm correct on that and the synth melody pattern reminded me a lot of Igor's theme from Igor and funny thing reminds me of Random Access Memories era Daft Punk with this really funky bass line with some synthy electronics and it sounds pretty cool. All this isn't bad however because they all sound great anyway. This album isn't perfect however because for me some of these tracks are just way too short and didn't really feel that fleshed out like the tracks Miguel's Happy Dance, How Sway and Funny Thing. I was also disappointed by the track Overseas which I felt was underutilizing a Zach Fox feature in my opinion. The biggest criticism that I have for the album however is the fact that it feels kind of predictable. If you've heard albums like Drunk, then you already pretty much heard what's in store for this album. Not that it's entirely a bad thing, it's still great, there's some great songs and some great instrumentation on here, but I feel like Thundercat played it a bit too safe and didn't really take that many stylistic risks. Overall, this new Thundercat album still has a lot to offer and it still has that great aesthetic that you would normally expect on a Thundercat project. I would still check it out if you're interested, as it still has quite a lot of gems to listen to and some great tracks, so... Yeah, It Is What It Is, by Thundercat. I'm feeling a 79 out of 100. Thank you guys so much for checking out my review of the new Thundercat album. What did you think of it? If you haven't listened to it yet, please go listen to it. If you agree with my opinion, please consider leaving a like. If you disagree with my opinion, we can debate about it in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want more content like this, including reviews, lists, discography rankings, and even more. Also, check out the taped podcast linked in the description. I've been Mickey T. And thanks for watching.